Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson we're going to use the query wizard again and we're going to test our cross tab query. All right, so I'm going to click on it and go to cross tab query wizard and click OK. All right, so we learned um, about the cross tab query in the past using the query design. Now it should be a little bit easier. Once you're familiar with the cross tab query and query design, it should be a little bit easier for you to understand it in the query wizard setup. Okay, so I actually have the table here, client list cross tab, and it should be available in the database that I uploaded to the lesson as well. So I'm just, I'm just gonna use this table and I'm going to click next. So Axis is asking me, okay, what rows do you wanna use in your cross tab? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use discount. And now it's asking me about the columns. What columns do I want to use in my cross tab query? And I'm gonna use gender. All right. Finally, it is asking me, okay, what do you actually want to do with the numbers? And what number do you want to sum or average and so on and so forth? So I'm gonna use my total orders as a summary, as a value, and I'm gonna sum um, these values for intersection of gender and discount. All right, here's another checkbox here. Do you want to summarize each row? And um, there's a checkbox, yes, include row sums. And I wanna do that because additional information is always helpful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click next. Finally, I'm gonna save this query for you guys as seven query wizards cross tab. All right, and I'm gonna view the query by pressing finish. All right, so now I have my gender here in the column area and my discounts in the row area. And I can see the total sums for each as well as the total for both rows. It is that simple. This is how you run the cross tab query using the query wizard. This is it for today's lesson and thanks very much for watching.